hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys I'm going to guide how to install the latest Kali Linux on the laptop or the computer so in this video guys I'm going to show you the clean installation on the laptop or system you can follow these steps and all the data will be lost from your laptop or system so make sure you back up your data and then you can proceed so let's start first of all we need to have the ISO file of Kali Linux so on the search you need to type a Kali Linux download and go to first link and once you go to first link we need to click on installer images just click on recommended one and 64 is already selected here just leave it as default and simply click on download button here so just I have already downloaded its other version so this time it will replace it so this is the latest Kali Linux ISO file let me show you I have already downloaded that but you need to wait here until it gets completed completely you can see here 2025.1 this is the latest version I have downloaded it on this date so you need to wait here until it's completed now the second software you need to have is Rufus in order to make a bootable pen drive of your Kali Linux we need to download the Rufus one just you need to select here the this version the standard one whatever version you are getting here standard just click on download so I have already downloaded both the software on my computer so this is a Rufus now insert your pen drive into the computer so this is my pen drive all the data will be lost from pen drive as well so just double click on this Rufus and hit your option when the prompt opens now you need to select your ISO file of Kali Linux from here ok just select it and click on open now once you open it leave everything as default click on start click on ok and click on ok once you click on ok it will process your ISO file to bootable image since I have already made the bootable image somehow it was not recorded this is the Kali Linux which I just made it this is a bootable pen drive you just need to wait for 100% here then you will see the start option and finish option all the green will be gone to starting point to end point and you will see your pen drive is ready now once pen drive is ready guys just need to eject it right click here simply eject it once you eject it you need to have the bootable key knowledge on your laptop or system and thereafter we will start the installation of Kali Linux so I have inserted the pen drive on it and this is a laptop now I need to now you need to turn on your laptop and press the bootable key in my laptop bootable key is F12 key since it's a Dell laptop in HP laptop it could be escape key as you can see here this is a boot menu guys we need to select here this option UEFI Ubuntu and under that I can see my pen drive this is my pen drive guys you can see SanDisk I need to hit enter now now installation has been started you can see here select here the first option graphical installation and press enter key on your keyboard 
now once i selected here the language i need to select your country so i'm going to select india continue option guys and keyboard language i'm selecting as it is us language i need to hit enter key or click on the or you can use the mouse now it has start detecting the as well as its loading files just select here continue option guys again select here the continue option now i have selected here no option then i need to hit enter so select here the first option this is the configuration of network just select our next select your now you can select your wi-fi here guys so i'm selecting my wi-fi and then putting the password and then i will click on next option so i have enter my password of the wi-fi and then now it has started configuration of network so this is your computer host name guys please enter your host name let me i have given here kali and then i need to click on continue option here a domain is not required guys you can just leave it everything then click on next now this is your full new username so this is important I am selecting as Kali and then I need to press the enter key here simply. Then the username password I am leaving as Kali as well. I am pressing enter key. Let me enter here Kali. Re enter the password guys and press here enter. Detecting the disks. Now here is the most important part in this video guys as you can see here guided use entire disk guided use largest continuous free disk now we need to select our guided entire disk since I am going to clean installation of this open Kali Linux now you can see here this is my SSD 240 GB is showing up here just select that and click on enter option now all files in one partition recommended for no users for new users just select here first option now finish up cleaning disk select that option simply it is selected already and hit here the next option so it's saying you want to write the changes to disk so yes I want that select here yes option and then we need to select here continue or enter a key now this is a process of formatting the entire disk guys notification is also showing up here partitioning formatting partitions formatting installing the base system now you need to wait here for some time and it will be done after some time let's wait so you can leave everything as default here so that is recommended setting then click on enter just we need to click on continue option here select here yes then you need to select the continue option yes now wait here again now you will see the complete option here then you need to press enter key 